In tonight's Project Earth, the changing climate is fueling more frequent and intense fires like the ones down in L.A., and they are emitting an even more dangerous smoke into the air. But as one East Bay boy found out, there are some steps that you can take to harness your superpower against the growing threat, and Makovic explains. Eight-year-old Nate likes a challenge and aims high. He's got big plans for the future. I want to be a singer or artist and be in the Army and an astronaut. Another goal? He's just like... Knowing how to keep his asthma under control. All I say is, if you have asthma, try avoid pulling the trigger. One big trigger, wildfire smoke, is posing a unique threat. New research is showing that wildfire smoke might be especially toxic, especially dangerous form of air pollution. Marshall Burke is a professor at Stanford University. He says as the climate continues to warm, expect more wildfires with a lot more smoke that contains all kinds of chemicals. Nearly 50 million homes in the U.S. are now located in or near forested areas, with millions more to be built. Unfortunately, as wildfires burn into cities, what's in the smoke is often what's also in our houses. Wildfires burn up cars, they burn up what's under our sink or in our garages, and that can be really nasty stuff, again, that ends up in smoke that is then inhaled. Add to that the ultrafine particles already found in smoke that can penetrate the lungs and enter the bloodstream. Burke's research projects that by 2050, smoke exposure alone will kill 70,000 people a year. That includes children, older adults, and those with lung disease. Already a big number, likely to get bigger under future climate change. To address the threat, Burke and his team created a free on online tool, an interactive atlas. So here we have the atlas up. Zoom in or enter your address and learn about the wildfire smoke risk in your home. Soon the site will include what you can do to reduce that risk, including portable air filters. Not everyone can afford a $200 air filter, so we need to make sure that people can access them. That's where Dr. Tanya Piper Lee and Vivian Chang of Breathe California step in. The nonprofit serves eight counties around the Bay Area. Part of their mission is to give air purifiers to those in need. There are resources out there. We go out to community centers and we also work with our partners to do a lot of education and bring awareness about this root cause that is climate change. Breathe California offers other resources, including a free summer camp for kids with asthma where they can learn to avoid triggers and use medicine. We hope that they come out of camp just with the confidence and the knowledge that they need to stay safe at home at school um, and so they can take charge of their asthma. Nate loved it. His dad knows that knowledge is power. We can be more informed so that we can protect our kids and protect each other. Perhaps the best kind of superpower as the climate continues to warm. You can test out the Atlas by going to KPIX.com and you can learn about Breathe California's big walkathon scheduled for this Saturday.